$300 for a vase? Are you kidding me? Hey, it's Brandy, and I love interior design. I get so inspired by cool spaces and redecorating my home. So when I saw these trending, really cool antique ceramic pots, I was like, I need to have those in my home. Well, the price tag starts at like $300 for these one of a kind pots. That's not in my budget at all. So I'm gonna show you how to DIY some not so cute vases you already have, or maybe some that you picked up at the thrift store and transform them into these beautiful ceramic pots for a couple bucks. Let's get into it. Do you have those boring glass vases stashed underneath your sink in the linen closet, maybe just like in a corner somewhere? These are the perfect vases to start your DIY journey. It doesn't matter what they look like, what color they are, what style they are, because we're gonna cover it anyways. You can also go to the thrift shop and look for really cool, unique vessels. Look in the kitchen area, look in the outdoor area. I scored these beautiful blue fat vases. They almost look identical to the one I wanna dupe. You're gonna start by cleaning your vases. I like to just pop them in the dishwasher, make sure you get any stickers or extra leftover residue off of them. Then you're gonna grab your paint. I have this chalk paint, some extra black paint, pour it into a bowl, and then you're going to add your baking soda. The baking soda is the coolest hack ever. It's going to thicken the paint. It's gonna provide texture and bubbles. And I'd say the ratio you're looking for is one cup of paint to about a quarter cup of baking soda. All those extra to-go chopsticks, you're gonna use them to stir your paint until it's nice and smooth. When you're ready to start painting your vases, brush on the paint going the same direction, fully cover the vase, and you might only need to do one coat. Let it dry for about four hours or overnight. Once your vases are dry, we're gonna add that distressed, weathered look. I'm using chalk and dirt. Grab your piece of chalk, rub it onto the vase, maybe draw some swirls or do some fun little dots, and then using your hand, rub it in to really create that faded, awesome look. You could even use different colors of chalk, so I'm using like a taupe color, brown, and white. There's really no secret behind using mud. This is mud from my backyard. It's kind of a brown color. I added a little water to create a paste, and now I'm just going to spoon some onto the vase and use my hand to rub it in. It's fine if you just add a little bit, take a step back and look, add some more, let it dry. That is completely part of the process. There is not a right or wrong way to do this. Because you wanna maintain that modern matte look, I actually wouldn't seal them, but if you wanna seal them, make sure you choose a matte sealer. But keep in mind, because we're using chalk and dirt, over time it's gonna wear off. You don't want it to get wet, but that's the beauty, you can just do it again. To style the vases, I'm using a variety of dried flowers, pompous grass. I actually forged this in my neighborhood by the beach. You can also find these kind of florals at your local craft store or online. I love how these big vases look by themselves. They're such a statement piece. I think I'm gonna put one of these on my nightstand or maybe on my desk or in the bathroom. But I also love how they look all together. Just what a beautiful centerpiece for a dinner party. But I think it's so fun that during the seasons you can add different dried flowers. And this is one of the easiest no fail DIYs. There's no way to mess it up. I am rooting for you all the way. I'm Brandy and I'll see you next time. Bye.